hey, you know what? I think we're the only ones here. Well, that's what happens when you get bumped from an overbooked flight at 11 p.m. I mean, who ever books a flight anyways? Is that even legal? Three of us. There's three of us here. Couldn't they fit three more people on the plane? You know, I would have sat on your lap. We could have split the airfare. I suppose that's your idea of a super saver rate. Surely you must be joking. I'm not, and don't call me Shirley. You're really anxious to get back home, aren't you? Hey, Disney World, here we come, man. Come on. Excuse me. Do either one of you know when the flight from Louisville's supposed to be here? I guess that's the one they're putting us on. Ooh, I don't know. That snow looks like it's coming down pretty hard. What do you think, Brady? Well, I think you're blocking the window. But if anybody would ever show up at that desk over there, I'm sure we could ask them. Yeah, right, like that's gonna happen. Are the two of you traveling together? Yeah, hi, I'm Brady. I'm Valerie. Chandler, how you doing? Oh, <laughs> um, so what are you doing here in Fort Wayne? Well, we just came to see one of our friends preach in town. He just became a pastor here, and it was his first sermon. Oh, are you guys pastors? Oh, Us? no, no, Heavens no, no, no. no. <laughs> but we do go to church together. That's true. And we're going to be in our church's Christmas play tomorrow night. That's true. Really? I bet one of those living nativities. No, it's, it's some, uh, some play a guy in our church wrote. <laughs> it's not bad, but hey, at least we're not doing a Christmas shoes again this year. Oh, amen, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Fort Wayne International Airport will not be allowing incoming or outgoing flights until further notice due to adverse weather conditions. Flights will resume when weather conditions improve and the snow can be cleared from the runway. We are sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you for choosing Fort Wayne International Airport. That can't be good. Well, I guess we're going to be waiting a while for that flight from Louisville. Why do they call it Fort Wayne International Airport? This place is small. What's so international about it? Actually, rumor has it that a drunk Canadian once landed a Cessna here by mistake and boom, you got international. <laughs> what did they just say? Did they just say we couldn't leave? Not until the storm clears. Great. Well, did they say when the snow will clear up? Oh, you know, maybe we could check with somebody behind the desk. Never mind. You know, but if we could turn on these TVs, maybe we could catch the weather report. Found it! Oh, man! And that'll be decided next week when the school board meets. Now let's go over to Curtis Smith for an update on the snowstorm that's hit Fort Wayne tonight. Curtis? Well, Keith and Melissa, as you know, it has been snowing heavily today all day long, and things are not going to let up over the next 24 hours. This is a blizzard condition out of an area of low pressure that is very large and very close by now. And over the next day or so, looking for an additional 12 to 18 inches of snow. And with very gusty winds, there is going to be plenty of blowing and drifting as well. This is not looking like a good situation at all. In fact, Allen County officials have issued a level four snow emergency through tomorrow. That means no travel. Please do not head out onto the roads at all. This is going to remain a dangerous storm throughout at least the next day or so, perhaps even longer than that. Again, very strong gusty winds and perhaps another foot or more of snow. We will continue to have the latest on the storm for you here, right here on 21 Alive. Keith, Melissa? That can't be good. This is not happening. Relax. We're going to be just fine. We'll get out of here. Eventually. <laughs> hey, look, you guys. We're going to just have to relax. I mean, how bad could this really be? Huh? All right, who am I kidding? This is going to be about as excited as one of Pastor Brad's sermons. Oh. He'll 
say, are you married? We'll say, no, man. But you can do the job when you're in town. You're in town. Later on, we'll conspire. As we dream by the fire. To face unafraid the plans that we made. But the fire is so delightful Since we know no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Though it doesn't show signs of stopping So I brought a little more in your puppy Now the lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow When we finally kiss goodnight How I hate going out in the storm all the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And my dear, we're still divine But as long as you love me so Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Are you okay? My name's Valerie. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. I I'm sorry. I don't mean to be short. My name's Alana. Brady. Chandler. It's just been a really stressful week with finals and everything. So do you go to school here in town? Yeah, at St. Francis. You know, I would have made the earlier flight, but my psychology professor decided to show up two hours late to give the Ooh. final. I missed my ride to the airport. I don't worry about it. You probably wouldn't have made it anyways. 
We all got kicked off the flight. True. They overbooked it. Overbooked? Is that even legal? That's what I'm saying. Ow. Can we check the weather again? Sure. Found it. <laughs> Once again, Fort Wayne and Allen County remaining under a level four snow emergency through tomorrow. That means the airport is closed, roads are closed, absolutely no travel in or out of Fort Wayne tonight or tomorrow. And what does that mean, no travel? I mean, <clears throat> what do you think that means? It means no travel. You're not going anywhere. No travel in or out of Fort Wayne tonight. You're stuck. Just relax. Oh, that was a little weird. Well, let's just make the best of it, I guess. You know, despite this airport's international status, there really doesn't seem to be much to do here. There's just got to be something around here to pass the time. Found it. Come here. Come here. All right. Dude, these are barf bags. Just follow my lead. <laughs> what are they doing? I have no idea. Hi, kids! Welcome to Barf Bag Theater! My name is Chunks! Uh, and I'm Pukey! Um, say, Chunks, if I'm not feeling well, where do I get sick? I mean, if I grab a barf bag, that could be a relative. I don't think I could handle that. Um, thanks for the observation, Punky. Oh, that's Pukey. Whatever. How about a story? Uh, sure. It's not like we're short on time with us being stranded. Here. Oh! <coughs> don't say stranded. That's too depressing. <coughs> well, kids, <coughs> look like Pukey should lay off the non-filters. <laughs> Why don't you start the story? Okay, <coughs> I will. Speaking of holiday travel, the first Christmas had its share of holiday travel problems itself. Mary and Joseph had to stay in a stable because there was no room at the inn. Overbooked, huh? That's good to see the travel industry hasn't changed in the last 2,000 years. Nah, I hope they didn't pay the full room rate. Well, the Bible's a little vague on the negotiated fee, Skippy. That's pukey! Pukey! Whatever. Oh. Anyways, everything turned out okay. Baby Jesus was born and became the savior of the whole world. So, I guess the moral of the story is, we may be snowed in for the night, but at least we're not sharing a room with a bunch of smelly barnyard animals. Exactly! The, the end! end. You guys ought to do that for your Christmas play. You guys are in a Christmas play? Well, yeah. But somehow I'm not sure that talking barf bags would go over well in church. Hmm. Gosh, you know, that reminds me of Pastor Ralph. I just love his sermons. How about you? Do you go to a Christmas service? Every year with my mom. I think my favorite part would have to be when they open up the Bible and start reading about the story of the birth of Jesus. Do you have a favorite part? Um, well, I, I don't know. I, I guess the songs. I always like singing Christmas carols. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive.
slipped. <laughs> Thank you. You seem a little tense. Can we help? Ilana, I'm listening. Thank you, Dr. Fraser Crane. I'm just trying to be reassuring. I don't know. Maybe it would be easier to talk to you guys. I'm not sure how to talk to my mom about it. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not going to be on this. You see, it all started with my roommate, Gabby. Talks a lot, does she? What? Well, you said she was Gabby. Her name is Gabby. Oh. Listen, remember Dr. Crane? Yes, uh, continue. Anyways, Gabby started going to church this fall, and well, then she started asking all these questions. About what? Oh, things like, are you saved, or do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? Personal relationship? Don't get me wrong, I believe in God and everything, but it's not like we're hanging out and drinking lattes together. Ooh, coffee sounds good. Whoa, settle down, Skippy. I've already checked, the machine's broken. Machine's broken? Oh, jeez. Anyways, I'm sorry. Continue. Why do these questions bother you? Well, I thought I had the whole God thing figured out, you know? I mean, my mom and I go to church every Christmas and Easter. God loves everybody and watches over us. He helps good people do good things. But then Gabby starts all this talk about being saved, and, well, now it seems like... like You're I, missing something? Yeah! I guess that's why I'm so nervous about going home. I think Christmas service is going to be a different experience this year, and I guess I'm just not sure what to expect. I don't know. I think I'm just going to try and get some sleep. Maybe that will help me relax. Well, I don't think any of us are getting out of here anytime soon. We might as well all get some rest. Yeah. And with no coffee, lights out for me. You know, guys, this can't, this can't be a terrible thing. Actually, it could be kind of fun, like camping. Yeah, camping. Except we don't have any sleeping bags. There's no campfire. There's nothing to make s'mores with. There's no coffee. And there's no scary ghost stories. Brady, there's no coffee. Yeah, you're right. This isn't going to be any fun at all. Yeah. Good night, Brady. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, John Boy. Shepherds, king fairy treasures, seeds found the story of Bethlehem. A stable, a manger, the birth of a savior. That's only where it begins. The Bethlehem story is still being told. Yeah. 
journey finds us returning back to the places we know so well. Cause those who experience the real joy of Christmas can keep it to themselves. The Bethlehem story is still being told. singing Christmas carols. What are you talking about? Is there an airport lounge or a karaoke bar in here somewhere? You really miss your coffee, don't you? Now be quiet, you're gonna wake everyone up. That's okay. I don't think I could sleep any longer on these seats anyway. Not exactly the Marriott, is it? Well, at least let Alana get some sleep. Oh, never mind. I can't sleep anyway. Did you get any rest? No. Hey, what time is it? Uh, it's 4.37ish. Great. Are you still worried about the Christmas Eve service? You know, I don't know if I'm nervous or scared. Maybe both. Well, you don't have to be scared. The Christmas story is actually good news. I think I know what you mean. When I first started going to church back in high school, I had tons of questions. And I remember feeling very uneasy for a while, too. Well, so what did you do? I found somebody in my church I was comfortable talking with and started asking questions. See, I don't know anybody at my church, and I really don't think my mom knows any more about it than I do. About what? Well, what it really comes down to is I don't know if I'm going to heaven. I sit in Christmas service and I hear them talking about Jesus being savior of the whole world. I mean, heck, even stupid barf bags told me that. Hey, hey, stupid's a little harsh. I mean, you know, barf bags are not an easy medium to be working with. I mean, you got them up in the arm and the... Anyway, uh, what you heard from the service and from the barf bags are both right. Jesus came to earth to be everyone's savior. So, shouldn't that include me and my mom? Yeah. Well, of course. Jesus died so we all could go to heaven. 
that you have to accept his gift of salvation. And what gift is that? Jesus died for our sins. That's how he saved us. All we have to do is believe and accept him as our savior. And that's it? I know. I couldn't believe it either when I first heard it. I thought there had to be more. Do you know that I probably thought about it for a whole month before I ever prayed and accepted Christ? I thought I had to do something. And finally, luckily, I realized that Jesus did it all for me. All I had to do was believe. Yeah, but if that's all there is to being saved, then what was all that stuff that Gabby was talking about? You know, personal relationships with Jesus. Well, that comes after you've been saved. It just means you get to know him better. And how are you supposed to do that? Well, the Bible tells us everything we need to know about God. When you read it or you listen to a sermon, you get to know more about him. Praying's a great way to get to know God, too. Really? Oh, sure. When you pray to God, you're talking directly to him. He always listens and understands. But you can tell him whatever you want. What's bothering you, what you're happy about, or even ask for help. Uh, yeah, but God doesn't, he doesn't talk back, does he? No, but he always listens and answers prayers, just not verbally. Anybody who tells you they're hearing voices from heaven, they're trying to sell you something. Or hasn't had their morning coffee. Or maybe they had bad clams. I like to pray in the car. While you're driving? Sure. You can pray to God anywhere. I guess I pray in the car sometimes because I need a little extra help dealing with traffic. You got a little road rage, do you? Hey! God made turn signals for a reason. At least I'm not as bad as my husband. You haven't seen anything until you've seen him behind the wheel of a car. But he is getting a little better. He's trying. Thank God. Oh, you are telling me. It took so long for people to get over that 4th of July incident. I just don't think I can go through that again. No, I think I see a snow plow. What? Where is it? There, there. I see it on the other side of the runway. Hey, I don't think it's still as hard as it was. You know, maybe we should go to the information desk and see if they know when the planes can land. Um, I think I'm going to stay here. Maybe someone will actually show up at that desk. I guess I'll go see if the coffee machine's working. You know... I think the girl at the information desk liked me. You think the girl that develops photos at the Walmart likes you? She gave me a free set of prints. It was a sale! Everybody got free prints! She gave me two dollars off. It was her first day, and she accidentally ruined your photos. Oh, yeah. Are you doing okay? Oh, yeah. I just have a lot to think about, you know? Don't let it overwhelm you. Just remember that God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus to pay for your sins. All you have to do is believe. If you're feeling a little unsure, talk to God about it. He'll listen and help you out. The coffee machine's working! It's a Festivus miracle! You see? God does answer prayers. Uh, coffee? Um, French vanilla, please? Giddy up. Hey, Chandler? Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's just coffee. I mean, we don't even know if it's any good yet or not. That's not what I meant. I know. Don't mention it. It's Christmas. It's the least I could do. Yes. It's definitely Christmas. so many ways to show you my love to show you who I am don't be afraid to accept my love 
just take a hold of my hand Do you believe in me And in the words I say And in him who sent me If you would only believe in me, I would forgive your sin. Give me your life and I'll set you free. A new life with me. And in the words I say, and in him who sent me from above, do you believe in my love? Hello? It's me. I know I haven't really prayed much lately. Well, not since I ran that stop sign last spring, which, by the way, was being blocked by that tree branch. I anyway, thanks for letting him go easy on me. <sighs> okay, let's face it. I have never really prayed at all before, except for when I lose my car keys or or forget an answer on a test. Not much of a personal relationship, huh? You know, I've just been so freaked out lately by all this stuff that Gabby's been talking about. I guess I never really thought about those things before, especially going to heaven or, or being saved. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I want to be saved, too. I've seen the difference it made in Gabby's life. I mean, things are so much better for her now, and, and she seems so much happier than she used to. And, and after talking to everyone tonight, or, well, this morning, actually, I realized that, you know, I've heard about these things before. I've, I've just never acted on them. But I don't, I don't want to miss out anymore. I want to have a relationship with you, like, like Gabby and, and Brady and the others. Thanks for Christmas and for sending Jesus. It's probably the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten. Oh, and please help me talk to my mom about this. I don't know, maybe Christmas service will help bring it up, but I don't want her to miss out either. I guess that's it for now. But I promise we'll be doing this a lot more often. Thanks. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul.
We're saved. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free Take at last. Take it easy, oh graceful one. <sighs> I'm okay. No, the coffee. The last two cups of coffee before the machine stopped working. Oh, the humanity. Don't worry. I'm sure you can get some more coffee on the plane. The plane? The plane, the plane, boss, the plane. That's right, Tattoo. We will sip Colombian coffee as we sit on seats made of rich Corinthian leather. Really? Are we flying first class? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What the Fantasy Island players are trying to tell you is our plane just landed. Oh, yes! Finally, let my people go. Amen. There's your coffee. You got coffee? Sure, the French vanilla still works. I see you were floored by your coffee experience. You want some of mine? Uh, no thanks. I can't drink any of that foo-foo French vanilla stuff. Gosh, I gotta have mine black. You sound just like my husband. He sounds like a great guy. <laughs> hey, you're smiling. Well, I really like French vanilla. <laughs> you know, she is really starting to fit in. Let's not hold that against her, please. Okay, okay. You know, I guess I just feel more relaxed now. I've never really paid attention to what Christmas meant before. Christmas service is going to mean so much more this year, and, and I don't plan on waiting till Easter to go back. Alana, that is great! Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, you guys. I know I was pretty grouchy when I first got here. No, no you weren't no, grouchy. We didn't oh, no okay. argument I, I, here. I, if that was grouchy, I'd hate to see upset. Hey! I think I hear a plane. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> finally! All right. Yes. Hey, nice to see you all, too. Oh, oh okay. Okay. okay, the natives are friendly here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry, it's our first time mobbing a flight crew and all. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, look, I'm Captain Over. This is Captain Dunn. Hey. We are so happy to see you guys. He's been here a while. Oh, yes. You can say that again. Look, we just got to fill out uh, some paperwork real quick. Uh, planes are filming right now, then we'll be ready to take off. We should be here morning by about uh, 7 a.m. You guys can go ahead and get on the plane if you want to. All right. Great. Hey, hey, isn't, uh, isn't Fort Wayne International what a drunk Canadian land Cessna? You remember that? Plus, you remember that? Wait. wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Wasn't that you? Oh, is it? Yeah, I'll fly, thanks. I think this is going to be the best flight I have ever had. Oh, and you know I can smell the coffee already. You're really going through withdrawal, aren't you? Oh, you aren't kidding. Five more minutes and I would have snapped! Like you haven't snapped already. <laughs> so, uh, you want to tell them we're out of coffee? What? We're not out of coffee. Yeah, but they don't know that. Like, what's the matter with you? This is Christmas. Hey, peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. Yeah, okay. Jeez, well, let them know we'll have coffee. After we let them think that we're out. Yeah, we'll wait for about uh, 20, no. 30,000 feet. There you go. I can see what that guy looks like when he snaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, has everybody got everything? Um, yeah. Let's get out of here. Okay. God bless us. Everyone! What? Well, isn't that how all Christmas plays are supposed to end? Just get on the plane. It's the most wonderful time. Did you hear that? There's that music again! Look, you're starting to snap already. They'll have a coffee IV and a woman who speaks jive waiting on the plane. But I heard music! Of course you did. It'll be okay. Let's go, pookie. That's pukey!
Time for a sermon. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. And appreciate it all. What we want to do now is just the choir is going to leave and they're going to slide out back so you get a chance to meet with the choir, you get a chance to meet with the people that are in the play. But I want you to know that if you have not accepted Christ, if you have not asked him into your heart, talk to any one of the actors, talk to myself, Carl, bring it up tonight. Don't let it slide and make it a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for coming. The plane's landed. We're at the terminal. Make yourself your way out. Thanks a lot.